Welcome to Medusa Pro, the 3D rock model generator for UDK. In this short tutorial we're going to show you just how easy it is to generate rock models and export them to UDK from Medusa Pro. So as per usual in Medusa, uh, to generate a new random model we can just press the spacebar and that will then create a random model based on the current rock template that describes all the geological features of this particular rock type. For this tutorial let's let's use a different template let's go to the rock library under under file new and we'll generate a model based on the limestone arch template and Medusa will now generate a completely random model based on the arch shape. So here's a, uh, an interesting shape arch uh, we can randomize that model as per usual by pressing the space key and you'll see how, just how different every single model is that's created from templates. So let's export this model to UDK. It's very easy, we go to File and Export and we select the file type as FBX for UDK. Now we can, if we want, choose to export a LOD 50 and 10 model. Uh, these are both lower resolution level of detail models and we can export a collision mesh However, actually Unity generates some very good LODs all on its own, so um, we don't really need to export those two. Let's include the, the collision mesh. Um, and we simply press export and then add a new directory for our exported files and press save. And there we go. So Medusa has now exported those models. So here we are in the UDK world editor and it's very simple to import our Medusa Pro Rock models directly into UDK. So we simply go to import, uh, go to the directory that we just defined in the Medusa Pro um, directory and exports. So there's our uh, FBX model. Let's import that mesh by simply pressing open. Um, we'll import that into the current package uh, which we will also load. Um, often UDK will warn that the FBX is out of okay is out of date, but we can we can actually just ignore that that message. It imports absolutely fine. And now UDK will import our rock model. So here we are. This is the rock model. So let's drag that into the world editor. There we are, and just uh, reposition it slightly so we can see it properly and now this model has nicely imported with its diffuse texture into the world editor of UDK. Now we'll probably also want to import the normal texture so we can import that separately. Let's go to import, select the normal texture, press open and import that to the current package. Now to apply that normal texture to the model we'll need to make some changes to the material that's already been created on import for the rock model. So here's the material. If I double click to bring up the material editor we'll find two items already in the material editor. There's the texture coordinates and the diffuse texture as a texture sample. So to add that normal texture we just need to add a new texture sample so we uh, use the uh, right mouse click and go down to texture and then add a new texture sample. To add the normal texture to that we can select the normal texture in the content browser and then simply click on the use selected object in browser and there we are there's our texture sample. To apply that normal to the material we need to add the texture coordinates to the UV so the texture sample and then the output from the texture sample to the normal output from the, the, the material editor and there we are we've added that normal texture to the material and then we click the, um, the green tick to apply that texture to all those objects that use that material within the world editor and there we are, there's our rock model very nicely imported from Medusa into UDK. So Medusa Pro is currently available for download. 
There is a free version called Medusa Lite that allows you to make unlimited models from two different rock templates. Anyway, we hope you find Medusa Pro useful and that you use it to make some really great scenes and games.